Okay, take three. So, what you're looking at is the main firing tubes of your furnace. Um, this happens to be a good Minamana on it. Um, this was not in a crawl space, it was not in an attic. And the furnace was having a problem before because I think these were cracked from day one um, because nobody's worked on this furnace until me the house is 10 years old and they did do a cleaning service on it when they um, bought the home from the builder and they knew there was a problem from day one because the gas valve uh, pressure setting had already been turned down to 2.6 and so what was happening it was shutting down it was there's that limit up here that was the rollout was going off because this you can see how it is I've got another video of it when it's firing and you'll be able to see how it was dancing around and pushing those pushing those back and so that's what makes me believe that there was a problem with this from day one. I think this was cracked. And instead of somebody fully investigating it and seeing, you know, what was wrong, I mean, they should have been able to see a crack in these when they were unpackaging the unit. Uh, I always check to see when I'm putting in a new furnace, you know, because they're mass produced and so it was also had a hairline you know cracks down here as well but when they unpackage this you know i always inspect everything and i bet you there had to have been a crack in these from day one and there was a problem or why would they have turned down the gas pressure uh, this is at 660 Smoky Hill Lane, Karen and Glenn. Normally I don't use homeowners names, but she said she's gonna post it on your guys' community page as well. And then I'll post a couple of videos. That way if this is, if you're having the same symptoms, we'll have a pretty good idea of what's wrong with it. So anyway hopefully this saves everybody because you can i can obviously i've got this out it's under warranty all manufacturers have a 25 year warranty on heat exchangers so the part won't cost us anything they may do a processing fee or something it's usually under 100 bucks uh but you know if somebody tells you you got a cracked heat exchanger and your furnace is under 20 years old it can always be replaced um, on a carrier though that's a different story it, it's still under warranty but it's the way they put it together they don't send this whole piece together these the little veins are individually and it's impossible so on theirs yeah you probably would have to but get a new furnace but anyway pretty much everybody else they don't when you get a new heat exchanger it all comes put together already and i think the new carriers are that way too but anyway thanks for watching